Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of J. Smith Plays MS Paint. I am J. Smith, and I am on the internet. Today, I am going to be drawing a character from a game that is one of the most influential games of all time, and definitely a game that I know and love very much. It's a game from my youth, and a little game called Grand Theft Auto 3. I am going to be drawing Claude, the, the silent protagonist that we all know and love, from GTA 3. Uh, he also made a guest appearance in GTA Vice... No, not Vice City. Um, San Andreas. I think he was in a, a little side mission on there. Maybe it was a, probably a main mission. Regardless, that is who we are going to be drawing today in 3, 2, 1, go. So the first thing that I kind of want to do is get a little bit of the, the street here. Um, so we are going to draw just like this. And it's going to be the pavement. So down and like that, I suppose we could probably get a bigger brush size, like so, and draw this. And is that, this is going to be an interesting perspective too, I think, uh, because it's not going to be straight on the, the, the way that, oh, but, all right, there we go. The way that this is, is drawn or the way that this angle is taken is kind of a little bit obtuse. So I'm basically, like my camera is on the ground and I am pointing up towards uh, Claude here. So we'll get the streets in right here, original pirate material. Uh, then we can get some blue sky. We'll paint that on just like that. Uh, get our paintbrush back and color that in so it blends nice and well. GG. And how about a little bit less open or something? So that is going to be the road. Um, there is some nice, I don't know, some sort of foggy thing in the background here. So let's get, not a foggy thing, it's like this, I don't know, nice little sunset uh, sort of thing going on in the background. So let's get a little puff of something or other. Just out and like that, so you know it's sunsetty. And that is looking pretty fine, pretty good, looking all right, and just about done with that. And then we could start continuing on and trying to draw our, our character here. So that might be a little bit of a challenge, but something that I think that I'm able to, to maybe possibly do. So first things first, let's get his pants, and he just kind of starts with this dark olive green so we'll get those in uh, I think that might be a little bit too big of a size for that so if his pants are down here and kind of like that bigger down at the bottom just like that and maybe down and around this way as well That actually might not be too bad. Might not be too bad. Don't take it as as that though. So there's the outline of his pants. That might be pretty good. Now for his jacket, I don't want to go with just pure straight black. Um, but I do want something really dark. So maybe that will be fine. Yeah, so that'll be good. And we'll get his shoulders and down around here for his hand. Good. And the top part of his jacket. Actually, maybe that's a little bit too close. So just up there. I need some room for his head. And it looks like I probably made him lean the wrong way. So he definitely needs to be more focused leaning forward. So if I did one of those, it might be a little bit better. And then his collar kind of could pop up like that. And this side of him down. Good. And he's got his baseball bat arm on that side. Great. So that is him in a nutshell 
Uh, now we can start getting some colors up in them. So maybe I should get a black outline of his hands or the the jacket, and then I could fill it in with that slightly brighter of a color, or yeah, slightly brighter than black of a color. So a a dark gray. I don't know. Isn't dark gray just technically black? Aren't we all just technically black? That's not... I don't know where that came from. But regardless, let's color this in now. Yeah, it's a bit bright. Or a bit dark. So we will brighten it just a smidge. That looks a little bit better. And maybe we can even up this size. Just to help us along. We're at nine minutes. It's not bad. Um, we might even get a chance to get some of this background imagery in here as well. So although the jacket is a little bit like green or something, let's get it down to gray. And there we go. That's better. And we'll color that in. Now, get back our black color from before. And maybe we can even start making his hands. Um, but before I do that, how about I get his skin in here? So he's a fair skinned man. We'll get this is a little bit like the sunset color, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, we'll make his head just like that. Color this in, and I'll make the bottom part of it a little bit darker. Um, hair is a really dark brown. And down and around. Kind of like that. Kind of? I don't know. His hair is kind of goofy, and it's hard to make hair with this brush. Um, but I think that will be pretty fine for that. So let's get his skin color out again. Make it slightly darker, more towards the gray. And down like that. All right. So that's fine. We'll get his hands. There's one. And we'll get the other one over here. And he's just going to be holding his baseball bat. Looks like he's holding his dong or something. But if we just get the baseball bat up and out. Hmm. So it comes straight out, and then we'll work backwards from there. There we go. Nice little Louisville slugger. And I gotta make sure that it kind of tapers down as well. So I think that's pretty good. Um, use some colors like this just to draw in some of the shadows. Um, maybe that. Uh, what color did I use? Oh, just this regular brown. There we go. Um, okay, fine, 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 fine. Now, uh, we'll get some eyes and stuff in here. So I just did one of these. He's got these eyebrows that are pretty thick. And just kind of make little things right there. And he's kind of... A little bit. It's like he almost doesn't have eyes. I'll just draw like that. And always not happy. Never the happiest man in that game. Someone's always trying to kill him, trying to rob him. I haven't played GTA in a really long time. I should go back and, and try that out again. GTA 3. And so that is him. Draw his hair out. 
Great. Um, zippers in his jacket. Good. Now let's get back to the pants. And I will use a bigger sized brush. And I don't think I got the angle exactly right. And it looks like he has fucking bell bottom jeans or something. But I think that's kind of okay. And we'll fill these parts in back here. How do you get, where do you go to get pants like this? Like Old Navy? You stop in. And why does he wear the same pants throughout the game? That's kind of like the interesting thing about uh, GT, like the other GTAs, is how kind of how much this game has transformed that, that series. Uh, and so something as simple as, you know, having the fans say, you know, we want to see, you know, the change our color or change our pants the next time. Boom, Grand Theft Auto Vice City comes out. Full, like, changing your gear, changing your outfit. Uh, I think probably GTA uh, Vice City was my favorite in the whole series so far. But I have yet to play Grand Theft Auto V, which is a little bit of... Uh, I don't want to say sacrilegious, but some gamers might might think that. So here's one shoe. We'll even draw like the laces in there, just like that. And the other one will be over on this side. About a little bit of a bigger brush. That's good. And we can draw this in right here for the sole. I'm not, I've got soul, but I'm just a street rat. Um, how about just a little bit of that. Um, this is actually a little bit darker, so oh, can I get this one? Just for the crotch, around like that. There we go. And just around the crotch, the J. Smith story, obviously. And fill the rest of these in. That's not it, but it's getting pretty close. Make his stick just a little bit bigger, his baseball bat. A little bit more menacing. Now, um, are we missing much? Not really, but I could draw like this Jeep in the background, so let's get a proper Jeep color. I guess it's a little bit darker. Um, we'll make the grill. Like that over. And down and in. Make the headlights. And just like the top of it. I guess this is like the Hummer one too. The Hummer Jeep. And down and just kind of fill all of this in blocky like. And in the background as well. So what I will need to do is draw some sort of uh headlights or screen uh, glass like that you always need a good windscreen and how about some lights right here obviously wheels are going to be important on a motor vehicle so we'll draw those in right there so the wheels are obviously the worst part about this. Actually, the, the truck is the worst part about this picture, but um, maybe I'm just a little... It's, it's too artistic. This is just my representation of how I think this game looks. So we'll fill this in right there. Continue drawing those wheels. These even in the back as well. And we'll fill all of this in. Get some doors on the side. This is the greatest truck ever. And almost. Looks pretty good. Uh, we'll get this sign up top. Basically pointing. Basically, snakes don't have points, but if they did, I'd probably say it's his knee. And up just like that. 
and down and over. Good. Fill this in. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Uh, we could get a bar coming down like that. Just so the sign looks like it's in the air via some direction. We'll get some 3D effects on it and call it a day. Those are those are 3D effects, by the way. So regardless, that is uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 in a nutshell, or at least Claude from GTA 3. Thank you all very much for joining with me today. I hopefully that you did enjoy it. I enjoyed making it. I think. I really like that, although the, the truck in the background looks a little bit like Scribbles, I think I kind of captured the, the, the semblance, maybe. Um, but all in all, I'm happy with that, I can't complain. Thank you very much for joining with me today. Uh, we'll see you, uh, I'm here every single day, um, so if you ever want to stop by, youtube.com slash jasonoti, I'll always be here. Uh, after that, you can follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash jasonoti, and twitch.tv slash jasonoti for all of my live streaming action. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Later.